What is Don't Waste Barbados? Don't Waste Barbados is a national anti-littering campaign uh, in which I am the founder uh, that we've set up to address what we believe is uh, a problem in Barbados that we certainly have control over uh, as long as we um, execute the initiatives that we have planned, we believe that we can make a difference to um, uh, the littering uh, situation in Barbados. Well, so essentially then, when, when was it founded? Did you see in your, um, your, your professional uh, capacity that it was just too much waste in Barbados, too much garbage? Wait, what, what prompted you to drop it? But I, I think it's not just what I might see. I think all Barbadians know that, um, that we have a problem um, where uh, people indiscriminately just either dump and or dispose of uh, waste in areas uh, where they ought not to or uh, rather than in proper facilities or uh, uh, receptacles. Mm -hmm. And that later ends up on the roadways and the byways and the public spaces of Barbados. And um, we all know it, we all see it, we all probably contribute to it. Um, but there's a need to do something about it. And so f for me, I thought that our team here um, that I have uh, assembled with uh, Don't Waste Barbados could make a difference, and that comes about by a campaign, a national campaign sustained over long term to, to uh, try to change behavior around littering, trying to not make it an acceptable thing. You mentioned team, who's involved in the Don't Waste campaign? Well, we have a team of individuals, uh, persons, but we also have a team of, 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 of corporate supporters as well, um, early adopters. So we have a team of individuals, uh, I wouldn't worry to, to name those, but we have a team of people who are actively involved. Um, but on the corporate side, we have um, the Enotech Group, in which I am the chairman as an early adopter, uh, ProSource Limited, which is one of the companies within the Enotech Group. Um, we've also got on board Chefette, uh, restaurants and uh, they were a very strategic partner for us um, uh, and we're glad to have them on board and then we're working with some NGOs as well uh, Future Centre Trust, um, uh, Eco Rebel yeah. and we're trying to work and collaborate with a number of others um, in this space. This is not something that we feel that we have to take control over but we want to be a part of the solution and if we can help drive that change that makes Barbados ultimately a better place then, then we think we've been successful. Um, well, so we, we, we've, um, well, you've heard the ad, and a lot of people have, um, we'd, we'd like to believe that, that we've introduced Barbados to the elements around the branding for Don't Waste Barbados, so we've not just come with an initiative, but we actually tried to establish a brand so people can get behind the brand and the initiative and recognize that we are serious about making a change. And uh, so we've, we've created a website, we've created social media pages, we have online presence, we have uh, advertisements, we have print advertisements, radio advertisements, and we're trying to sensitize Barbadians that it's not cool to waste, mm -hmm. and sorry, to litter, and uh, we're seeing that already. I think our team and, and our supporters um, are already getting positive feedback from people. Um, so I think we're, we're right on the way. Um, I would say we started uh, probably three months ago officially, um, but this, as I said, this is a long-term campaign for us. This is not something that we uh, intend to just do on the short term. So we're, we're you know, we're investing uh, time, money, and effort in this, um, and I think at this stage we want to uh, say that it's not just the corporate supporters that we want to come on board. Mm -hmm. But, you know, anybody in Barbados, we don't really care. Anybody in Barbados who feels that they have something to contribute mm -hmm. towards making Barbados a, a better place and a cleaner place, then please contact us at, Proso uh, sorry, at Don't Waste Barbados and uh, get involved. Uh, we welcome your, your input, whether that just be ideas, whether that be effort, whether that be financial, whatever it is, because we believe the, you know, the more collective approach this is, the better for us. Well, you mentioned, you mentioned early stages of the brand, um, getting people involved. What are some of the projects that you have upcoming that people can you know, put their support between? Well, so a couple of uh, uh, weeks ago, we, we actually had a, 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 a beach cleanup activity at Carlisle Bay. And that's just something that we've done. Uh, where uh, members of our team and some of our supporters actually had a day at Carla Bay um, and, and we were actually able to make a big difference and it's quite, you know, I know how bad it was mm -hmm. 
because I see it on the roadways and the byways and the public spaces, but when you really get down onto the actual beaches and you really see what we just discard of um, wantonly and, and without any um, concern for the impact. Uh, so we did that. We have an upcoming project uh, in next year for students in Barbados between the age of 18, 8 and 18, um, where we are going to uh, partner with a company out of the United Kingdom called Ellipsis Earth, and we're going to use drone technology and other forms of technology to actually identify waste in public spaces. Uh, and so these students will actually act as data collectors uh, using the technology to identify the, where the waste is and actually create a database of that waste. And then we can actually make uh, uh, an effort about actually removing that waste from the, from the areas where they're identified. So that's a campaign that, that we are going to be doing in January. I believe we're in discussions with the Ministry of Education, a number of public schools, private schools uh, in Barbados. Um, the registration is open at the moment. I think we will uh, engage 300 students and uh, said registration is open and we hope to get full participation. Ideally, we'd like to get more than 300 because that means that we've been successful in, in you know, uh, encouraging not just Barbados of a certain age, but certainly the younger, the next generation to to use the technology and, and be sensitive to public spaces and what they do and don't do as it relates to littering. Are there ways, Barbados, any plans to go regional? Well, um, curiously, I've just come back from St. Kitts. Um, we, we have, you know, our group of companies, this is me and the chairman of the Intertech Group, we, we have operations in St. Kitts. But uh, I've just come back from St. Kitts. But recently we received an invitation from the Solid Waste Management Corporation of St. Kitts, which is effectively the equivalent in St. Kitts of the Sanitation Service Authority of Barbados. They have responsibility for municipal solid waste and, and, and waste generally in the nation of, or in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And, and they recently wrote to us and, and to, to invite us to come to St. Kitts because they've become aware of the initiative Don't Waste Barbados and what we were doing here. They, they saw the branding, they saw the initiatives. Don't know exactly how, how that came about, but obviously um, they wrote us and they formally asked us if we could come to St. Kitts and discuss whether in fact this is a program that we could replicate in St. Kitts. Now St. Kitts is obviously a smaller country than Barbados. Um, so we did go and, and have meetings with Solid Waste Management Corporation and the chairman of Solid Waste Management Corporation in St. Kitts last week. We had meetings with uh, the government of St. Kitts, with the Ministry of Tourism, with the Ministry of Sports and Culture and the minister responsible. So yeah, the answer to the question is yes. And you know, if the opportunity is there for us to, to establish don't waste in Kits or don't waste Grenada or don't waste in Lucia or don't waste Cayman Island, whatever it is. If we think that we can make a difference and we can, you know, we can be the catalyst for change that leads to, to cleaner environments, then 